Forage and photo crops feed the animals that support nearly a third of the world's population. As markets for animal products grow, demand for these animal food plants is escalated. Yet rapidly increasing human and livestock populations are generating urban expansion and pollution. Competition for land means less is left for grazing and soil fertility is dropping. Faced with today's large-scale, fast-moving environmental challenges, many foda and forages are dying out. Not only do these plants need to be saved quickly, but the genetic materials that they contain need to be explored. A major focus of the Ilri Gene Bank is the research and use of the precious genes inside its forage and photo collections work that is increasingly important as new pressures are felt in developing countries. The need for livestock feeds is intensifying, especially in urban areas where demand for animal products is high and rising. Population growth, industrialization and expanding market demands mean many remaining grazing areas are struggling Natural pastures are losing quality and becoming unable to feed the increasing numbers of animals that poor farmers need to keep. Expanding human populations in poor countries have resulted in many farms being divided up. So with each new generation the food and feed needed for the family must be produced on less land. You can see all this land belongs to our great-grandfathers. Like 20 acres from there, with six sons had to share equal portions. Now we are three boys, and each one of us has to get a piece of it, one acre or even a quarter half of it, and that goes on. In the small-scale dairy sector, the result has been that many farmers have got rid of hardy indigenous animals and bought exotic cows that give more milk and so make more money, but need more and higher quality feed. One of the biggest problems in sub-Saharan Africa and in most developing countries is that the available feed is extremely low nutritive quality and there are also feeding gaps through the year. That's why napier grass has become so important as a supplementary feed source particularly for crossbred animals for dairy. We use napier grass because it's nutritious for the cows and it's also high producing, so it's uh, a cheaper form of fodder. If I did not have the napier grass on the farm, probably my cows would starve. <laughs> <laughs> 